Hello guys, welcome to the next video. In this video, we are demonstrate a new project and this project title is Payroll Management Systems using a PHP and MySQL. In this project, we have a lots of features like admin features. We can check the admin features like employee database management, payroll process automate, tax management, report generation, direct report, security features, user friendly interface, real time date real time date updates automate time tracking and integrate it with the user softwares so this project have the lots of features you can use this project in your real time also and in your college process also means if you are the last day students and you are looking for the projects then this project is best for you so before starting this project let me share the uh, purpose of this project uh, the project is aimed to develop the web based payroll systems this is essential for the size of like the small business and the large enterprises payroll management system is a software based applications designed for the streamlines and automate employee salary process so in this project we are automate the employee salaries and this process and this software can be used in the small business and for the large enterprise business and the requirements for this project are needed like you have the exam server if you are running this project on the local systems then you need exam server and the minimum uh, apache requirements is 5.6 or above that means uh, the apache that you, you are using uh, the php language that you're using must be 5.6 version or above that and the programming languages that we have used in this project are html css jQueries, php and mysql and also javascript also we have used in the javascript also so if uh, before starting this project if you are looking for the more projects also if you are looking for the more projects or if you are in the last day students and then you need a lots of projects then you can refer our website you can check our website just go to the updateker.com and here you will find lots of projects in a different programming languages like php python data science java and jsp server related so you can find lots of projects and if you are still looking for the projects and you are unable to find any projects then you can contact us um, by this you can select here contact us and you can connect with us and if you, uh, you can share your details of the project then we can try to build your projects according to your requirements and before starting these projects again uh, if you are new to the channel please subscribe to our channel we have uploaded lots of videos related to the projects related to the programming languages so before starting this project please subscribe to our channel so let's start the project this is the code uh, this is the complete code of this project and all these codes are completely without any error all the things are running perfectly so if you are interested in this project then you can check the complete video and then after completing with this video you can contact with us if you are interested in this so let's uh, start this project I have uploaded all the things in the jam server and now i'm just go to the directly to the url and this is the url this is the interface of this uh, project like uh, i'm a user and i want to time in or time out means what time i'm in and what time i'm out for that i need a employee id so currently i don't have an employee id so first i go to the admin panel and then i will create an employee id so just go to the admin panel login with the admin and password now i just log in as the admin currently we have only two employees it will display all the details of the uh, it will it will display all the details of the your employee of your organization so you can check all the here here it will display the attendance on time on time or off time or late or whatever here it will display all the employee you can add the attendance from here also like i'm adding the attendance for this employee user this one and then i'm adding the attendance from here admin can also add the attendance and user can also so i'm adding from here attendance for this and time in and time out i am adding time out is like uh, 9 pm okay and then save so it will display the late means your uh, your timing your schedule timing is different and you are uh, uh, you are attending or you are in time is 9 am so it will late it, it will show you the late and 
here is the employee list you can add the employee from here a first name last name address date of birth and it here you have to schedule the time time duration means what time this employee is working from here like 7 to 16 9 to 11 or 10 to 9 10 to 19 uh, according to this it will show you the it is late it is on time it is uh, it or it is before the time so according to this schedule it will display you uh, the employee dates like this employee uh, this employee is late because the schedule for this is 10 to 7 and it's showing me the 10 pm so it's late in a cash advance you can add the cash advance here employee id and the amount i am sharing his amount is 1000 rupees 10000 rupees and then save so it will show you that the we have shared the advance amount to this user here we have shared this amount and it is an advance now we have a schedules for this 7 a 7 am to 4 pm 10 am to 7 pm so you can add new schedule also or you can edit the existing schedules that we have already in the systems now this is this is the deductions if i want to deduct any amount for that user like uh, deduction detail and the amount that we are going to deduct for that user or you can edit the existing uh, deductions details also the positions we are currently we have added only two positions one is for the programming and one is for the writing so i am just adding a new position like uh, trainer and rate per hours i am giving um, like uh, 500 rupees per hour according to this uh, hour uh, like uh, this employee is taking the 100 rupees for one hour if if uh, this if this employee working like 10 hours so it will generate 10,000 rupees for that employee according to this per hour basis so if I adding a trainer the trainer is like it will it will it will show you the five thousand rupees per hour now we will go to payrolls it will generate the slip also net pay minus six and deduction is 400 rupees because it's a late so it will reduce the amount and you can generate the pay slip according to the date like if i want to filter the date like from 1 to 11 and then payroll so it will display the all the employee details and the pay net pay to that user or to that employee and if i want to print this if, if i want to print this space so i can print from here now i'm back to this space and generate a pay slip it will also generate a pay slip also like this is a software company name and this is a username this is the company name this is the username if i want to only the one user then i can go with the specific user like i just search this one this is a employee id and just I search here, it will display the one user. I just generate the pay slip for that user only. It will display all the user because I have just selected this one. And here is a schedule for that employee. I can also print this also. If I want to print that schedule, I can edit that. So this is the admin panel of that payroll management systems and for the front end like a user like i'm an employee and i am just joining the company and what time i'm going to join so i just need to add here like uh, it will display the normal user when a normal user come to it will automatically adjust the date and adjust the time what time you are in so like i'm in and the employee added this okay you uh, you have time in for the today means i have already added this user uh, through the admin panel so it's showing the error if i just time out then it will go okay now time out means i am already working on that uh, timing so now i am time out and if i want to again time in then it will you have already done for today means only you can enter one time in a day now next means uh, if i go with the tomorrow then it will allow me to add for the users if I go with another users, like I have already another user, I go with that, then it will allow me to add to the users. Uh, one user only one time, so I can check from here. It is late. 
I can add the timing like I'm out in 12 a.m. in what time I'm in 16 a.m. So it's on time showing the on time. Now I am using this email ID for this time. Okay, one, two, three. And then I will use that email ID for this login. Okay, just a moment. I'm just login and time in employee ID is different. This time we have using a different email ID. Different email ID, not email ID, different employee ID. And now this time you can in. Means now you are in and again if you try to again you are try to in timing in then it will show you an error that you are already in. So now you can just out from here and then if you are out it means it will calculate automatically the duration that uh, that the duration that you are working on that time. So like you are in at 9 13 and you need if, if you are out in 9 uh, 9 20 then it will calculate the time duration and payment according to that. Okay, so this is all about this payroll management systems. This is a fantastic project. If you are last year or if you are having any startup, then so you don't want to you don't want to spend too much money on that. So you can go with this project. So thank you for watching this video.